Hi, I'm gonna go over this 308 gun and uh, what's on it and why I picked the different parts. Um, should be fairly quick. Uh, we're gonna start off uh, tip to butt, Grantham style. So over here, I have a Q Trash Panda, great silencer, titanium, super lightweight, um, barely feel it on the end of the gun. Um, then uh, into the gun itself, this is a primary weapon systems. Um, I don't know if they make this upper anymore, but it's a 308 upper that requires a suppressor to be able to cycle. Uh, Primary Weapon Systems makes piston guns, um, and I bought this upper separately. Um, this lower is a, also a Primary Weapon Systems lower, um, and I've SBR'd it, and I've got my engraving marks there. Um, all in all, uh, this gun's pretty heavy, uh, because 308 guns are heavy. Um, but it is a great gun. I've taken a handful of deer with it, um, a couple of pigs with it, and it's, um, it's crazy accurate, at least for me. Um, a little bit further back, this is a uh, Slingster sling. It's a pretty lightweight sling. It's got cutie cups, so it can come off the gun if I don't need it. Um, on top, I have a Trijicon 1-8. to eight. Um, They changed the name of this optic since I purchased it. I think the new name is called the Credo. Um, Love the fact that it's one to eight. Eight power magnification is absolutely great on an LV, LVPO. The glass quality is awesome. Um, it's in mills. Both the uh, reticle and the turret themselves are in mills, which is super handy for being able to dial to longer ranges. Um, you'll notice on here, I've got uh, witness marks on my screws to make sure they don't back out. And on this side of the gun, I've got Sharpie marks at where this uh, mount goes. This is a Midwest Industries uh, QD mount, which I really like. Um, this week, actually, I took this off and I ran a four and a half power Trigicon thermal on it uh, for some hog hunting. Um, I had an absolute blast. I was able to put this back on and I was, was able to verify a zero at both 100 and 200 yards with my offsets, which brings me a little bit further rear. Um, back here, I have my offsets for this Hornady Super Performance 150 grain ammunition, which is my hunting load. Um, and I have my offsets for zero and 200. Um, and I have blanks for 300 and 400 because it's snowing today. And I have not been able to verify my drops there. But um, I'm on at 100 and I have to hold over 0.5 mils for my 200 yard zero, which is pretty great. Um, for mags, I run these uh, Lancer. I've got a 10 and a 20 rounder, maybe 25 rounder. Um, I find that 10 rounder, I end up uh, downloading it to eight um, and I use that when I hunt and um, uh, it's been it's been really nice for deer because you take one shot. Um, for pigs, you might take a couple of more, but um, I find that the 308 round, especially this um, SST is a really effective round. Um, what other things do I want to call it on this PWS? Um, it's got a Magpul grip and Magpul stock. Um, the Magpul stock is plain Jane. It works really well, doesn't pinch any fuzz I've got on my ears, um, it's durable. Um, it's got the ability to run uh, slings. I wish it had a um, slings level point, but uh, PWS does have one on both sides of the gun and both sides of the barrel up here. And what's really nice is that uh, they're actually locking, so these don't rotate, um, which is pretty cool. Not all uh, companies that make slings level mounts by default um, have that feature, so I really enjoy it. That's all.